So if you ever find yourself on the brain rot section of YouTube known as the shorts tag, you may see some beam and G shorts just like this. You may think to yourself, damn, I'm not as good as a drifter as this guy. I know I thought this as well when I first saw some of his stuff, but the only thing about him is that they're like completely fake. These are not real. And it's funny because people actually think that these are, these are real, except uh, this first one here, which he literally, he literally hearted to say that like he's literally showing his, uh, his guilt. But there are lots of people and there are lots of people who think this stuff is real wait i forgot to record there are a few things that you're gonna want to watch out for when watching these shorts so number one extremely high speed through cones like this guarantee you it's not going to be real number two all of the props are in the exact same orientation for example if you look at all these cones right here they're all in the exact same orientation and the cone model we'll come back to that number three is any sort of floating cones and and or clipping of the car into the cones. This is because these cones or props aren't actually there. They don't exist to the car. They only exist to the game. But if you see stuff like this, also what the hell is going on with the wheel? But as you can see, all the cones are in the exact same orientation. Another thing that you wanna watch out for to know that these are actually real is if they have a wheel cam and or controller cam, as well as some camera that shows their screen or shows their controls that this is actually legitimate but if you look at this guy uh, I have a certain video that I actually want to look at where he I think tries to show his innocence but it kind of falls on its face I'd say this is probably one of the more believable videos maybe now he is using an m3 model now if you see as I pause right here you can see there's one cone that looks a lot different from the other and that's this one right here as you can see these ones only have one stripe while the other one has two stripes now he actually hits it and it pushes it obviously but I'm pretty sure since i already watched this video and i accidentally didn't record audio <laughs> like an idiot i'm pretty sure this one actually flips through this cone a little bit but if we go to the end as you can see here we have a cone clipping through the floor we have cones floating right here cones floating right here and they're all in the same orientation and also i just wanted to point out if you look at the upload dates march 10th march 11th march 11th again March 12th. So all these four videos of extremely difficult drifting situations have been uploaded within three days of each other. So two of them were uploaded on the same day. Uh, I presume record on the same day as well. But the only thing is these videos, well, judging by the amount of cones they put down, I want to say that these videos take anywhere between an hour, an hour and a half to two hours to make themselves. If this guy really wanted to grind out a bunch of videos in one day, he like if you if you spend eight hours a day just making these videos, you probably make four of them. So unless all of these are stockpiled, there's no way he's hitting all these drift clips daily. Now, if I go back here, th this is an interesting one, like super impossible drift with grandpa, 260,000 likes. People think this stuff is real. Oh, this grandfather needs an Oscar probably because he's an actor and he's not actually doing this. I mean, obviously he's not showing his uh, his screen, which is a, a little bit of a, a little bit of giveaway. So if I go on this guy's channel, Go to the shorts tab. It's just one of the typical YouTube shorts. It's kind of brain rot, whatever, I guess. Now we have people that are like 100% real, like like Shifter. He's a really good drifter. He has his wheel cam. He has, you can see somewhat mostly of the screen, but as you can see by there, looking out of this window, it shows off of the edge in Utah. So he's drifting in first person using the recording, BMG recording thing to uh, to show his uh, wheel and there to show his third person view. But there's a lot of things here, but he's not drifting extremely tight scenarios between cones. Like I think he's just a, a really good drifter at this point. He's not doing any sort of really insane, insane drifts like that would take hours upon hours to get because even if you hit one cone, the video is over. I'm not even going to touch on these BMNG shorts because most of the stunt stunts that they do aren't real as well. Here's another, another shifter video. So I can tell this one's real because for one, this parking lot is not able to be put in afterwards. It's literally a part of the map. Plus he's driving on it. Obviously he's drifting in first person again. I assume it's just his preferred way of drifting, but I'm gonna load up BMNG drive and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this for yourself if you wanted to fake some videos. 
So you're going to want to spawn in the car that you're going to use for the video. And you're going to want to have your replay UI here. That's just the uh, replay app in the uh, UI app setting. You're just going to want to record a video of you drifting. I'll just do like a straight and left and then 100% legitimate recording. And you're going to want to stop the recording. From there, you're going to want to hit F11. It'll open the world editor. And when I go to the camera path editor, click new. Link it to current replay. Open your current replay. There's me going ahead and whipping the back end around. So from this point, you can close replay editor. You wanna to go to window, asset browser. It'll take a minute because it has 7,000 assets to load. You should be able to uh, find most of the props in the game in here, but from what I know, I just wanna get the cones. So you can go to the race, and then you want to scroll all the way down until you see cone.dae. The DAE is the actual file that you want to use. Uh, anything else is just a, uh, a texture or a script or something. But once you uh, pull that out, you see you got your cone here. And the thing about the, these things are I don't even think you can actually uh, rotate them unless you want to use some like settings or something. So you just move it by the, these box here. They're on a, on a uh, set plane. You can move it up and down and down stuff. As you can see, you can clip through the floor and then just leave it there but one way one way you can um move these things is you can basically use it as like a, a clone stamping tool so you can just grab onto it and then just like con control d thing about them is if you do that and you bring it over to the, say where somewhere there's elevation change it'll just start you know floating the thing about it is i pointed out the fact that these have no collision with the car so say if i just put this in front of the car and then i play the replay as you can see right there, the car goes through it and then it's just sitting there untouched because the car has no collision with it. So a good way to tell it if you're drifting is just go by your uh, your tire marks. So I'm going to create a quick little course. There we go. There's the general course. As you can see, it's a pretty close call with some of the, the cones, but they do not hit them. Now, if you wanted to, you could just, you know, grab a cone fill in in between them you know like they do in the videos with like the millions of cones there you go there's your entire filled in course um for a course like this i think it took me like maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes tops the hardest part about doing this is just you know finding like the general outline of the uh of the the course that you you drift without hitting any of the cones if you really want to dedicate your life to building an audience around faking videos like this it, it's it, it's not as tedious as some other sort of videos but you know w once you're done with that you just click uh the camera path editor play close the editor now you're in the actual world again so none of the editor stuff is actually showing up and you can just go back alt u or maybe play it first and then you have no ui and you can just like look around and stuff and like be like oh wow look at my cool drift as you as, as you're faking your whole drift uh no hate to any of the creators in this video I just want to highlight or just go over how to do this and what it'll look out for but if you guys did like this video make sure you guys do like comment subscribe join my discord follow me on twitch and twitter consider becoming a channel member uh but i will see you guys in the next video